Um, Barbara and I came to Cambridge uh, yesterday from the Fagarash Mountains, which are probably the most beautiful, or one of the most beautiful mountain ranges we have in all of Europe. Um, they're big. We're talking about 200,000 hectares. They're unfragmented. There is just one single summer road going through the mountains. They're uninhabited. There is not a single uh, human settlement in these mountains, and they're wild. You can stand on top of a mountain and look all the way across to the horizon. There is forests, forests, and forests. And there's wolves and bears and lynx in these forests. It's just a paradise. People have been using these mountains for uh, centuries, but in a very friendly way. There's a bit of livestock grazing up in the Alpine, and they have used uh, the lower parts of the forest for uh, forestry. But many of the remote valleys are still intact. They still remain wild. Uh, and, uh, and until very recent time, times, this has been a beautiful and wild place. But now, in the last 20 years, things are changing. Um, Livestock uh, grazing has uh, increased, uh, forestry has intensified, um, the remote valleys have been opened by construction of uh, forest roads, and uh, trophy hunting has developed into some big business. At the same time, the people that live in the villages around the Fagarash Mountains have remained poor. They haven't seen any of the benefits of this, uh, of this recent developments, and many of the younger generation are leaving these villages for the cities. Now imagine we could replant those areas that have been clear felled. Uh, we could let the managed forests alone so that they can rewild, and we can protect the remaining virgin forests in perpetuity. Imagine we could let the wildlife alone and let the wildlife thrive, let the uh, bison and beavers come back, which have once shaped the landscape there. And imagine we could build an infrastructure so that all of you could visit these areas and we could create services so that uh, you could experience this uh, beautiful nature and the, the wildlife. And at the same time, have an economy where the local communities are the ones that really benefit from this all. Um, so that the younger generation is not leaving anymore. And imagine we could create a national park there, a big, huge national park, which could become one day the Yellowstone of Europe. And this is what we're trying to achieve with the funding of the, Europe, of the Endangered Landscapes Program. Thank you.